everybody, it's Dana Joy of God Joy Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a really quick and easy Valentine's Day card. As you know, the holiday is amongst us again. So I'm going to use this um, cute little set from Paper Smooches. I'm going to use the little owl because he's adorable and the sentiment smooches. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and lay out my owl on my paper and put the sentiment underneath. I like to do this so I can take my stamp pressed and pick up everything at one time. Kind of makes it easier for things to line up instead of like uh, stamping one thing or stamping the image and then stamping the sentiment. Just going to grab some of my favorite ink and I always use this ink. It's the Memento Tuxedo Black. And that's what we're going to use on our image today. Once I stamp this image, I'm going to go ahead and play some music while you guys watch me color. I'm not feeling too well today, so I'm not going to do a lot of talking. And I'll be back after all the coloring is done. We are pretty much done on the coloring of our cute little owl. The only pieces I have left or areas I have left is to do a little bit of shadowing across the bottom of his claws and to also add in um, the color of the branch that he's sitting on. 
I love coloring these cute little animals. They just remind me of like adorable little cartoon characters. <laughs> I know that's kind of strange, but they're just so damn cute. All right, we're gonna add the last bit of touches to those. And I'm gonna blend out um, some of the claw part. You really can't see because the image is really tiny. So to be honest, you can probably color this image with just one or two colors. All right, so there you have it. Now I did get a little bit of the brown color onto the whites of his eyes. So we're just going to go ahead and clean that up with a um, clear marker, Copic marker, just a colorless marker, that's what I wanted to say. And I also want to go ahead and add some eyeballs. I kind of like anytime I make the smaller um, or color the smaller images, I like for them to have um, eyeballs, not just the pupil amongst all the white. I actually like to define out an eyeball for them. So I'm just going to use one marker to do this and I'm just going to draw like little circles, not perfectly around and give him some eyes. All right, now he's done. Super, super cute. Love it. All right, so let's go ahead and put the rest of our card together. I've already cut down some cardstock and we're just going to use the pink part of the cardstock to um, add, uh, bring in the color of the pink that we use for our little owl. And this is going to be a pretty, uh, pretty quick card to put together. Just going to run some adhesive and lay it down on the side. I can't remember the paper pack that I used, but I will put it in the description at the bottom of the video. All right, so we're just going to lay that down and see how cute that is. It really brings out the pink of the owl. I'm going to use some of this fabulous ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon. This is their January uh, kit, their club kit. And for the ribbon I'm going to use out of this pack, I will go ahead and make sure that I link this at the bottom as well. I love the pink and I love this crocheted ribbon. It's absolutely beautiful. So that's what we're going to go with. So I'm just going to make this a simple layout, nothing too fussy. I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive to the back of the cardstock where I'm actually going to lay down my ribbon. In this case, I'm not going to put um, adhesive all the way around like I did in my previous cards because this is lace and you're going to see a lot of the, uh, the adhesive come through onto um, the ribbon. So we don't want to have that happen. And then I'm going to grab some of the pink. And I think I'll put it on the top. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go ahead and cut that first and see if that's where I want it to be. I don't think I want that there, though. I think I actually want it tucked underneath the crocheted ribbon. I think that'll look a little bit better. So I'm going to add some adhesive all the way through on this ribbon because, you know, you're not going to see the adhesive on this ribbon on the back. So I'm going to peel off the crocheted ribbon. And I'm going to go ahead and add that pretty pink behind it. I didn't like just seeing the paper come through on the crochet. So we're going to go ahead and lay down the pink ribbon. So the backing of our crochet ribbon will actually be the pretty pink ribbon. So yeah, I think that looks better. You know, and this is what's so great about making cards is you can change them up any way you want. Any way you want. It doesn't, you know, you can start out with one ideal in your head. And then you can just switch it up. Easy peasy. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put that crochet ribbon right back on the pink, but I'm going to leave a tiny little border underneath the crochet ribbon. So we can still see that beautiful pink ribbon right underneath the crochet. All right, we are finished with that part. I think it looks great that way. Now, I need to have a border around my little image here because he just kind of looks like he's floating. So I think I want to take a piece of brown paper and add it to the back. Now, I'm not going to use an entire piece. I think I just want a border around my image. So this way it kind of stands out, but it doesn't actually look like the image is just floating. So I'm just going to grab a piece of brown cardstock I already had cut. I don't need the big piece now. And we're just going to mount that kind of to the center. Just peel off. I got a little bit of a cut fuzz. So I'm just going to peel that off of there. All right, now let's go ahead and get it back on there. All right, I think that looks pretty good now. And 
see it brings some of that brown over to the pink so the image doesn't look like it's just floating I'm going to add a little bit of gel pen this is my white uh, Segneo pen and let me see I'm just gonna do a couple dashes I guess down the sides and I like working with this pen because the uh, the ink in is very fluid but I will tell you on a few of my pens and I don't know what I did but I can't get the ink to come out anymore so if anybody has any helpful tips on how to unclog I guess it's clogged I'm not sure how to unclog your signal pen please let me know because I have uh, about two of them that for some reason it just kind of died out on me all right we are pretty much done with this card I already have a top folding card uh, already cut out so I'm just going to fold that in half grab my bone folder so I can get a really nice crease on this and if you don't have a bone folder in your craft room we really need to have one because it makes folding your cards gives it a really nice crisp um, edge as you can see this is just going to be a simple pretty much one layer because we don't have a lot of stuff going on here we don't have a lot of um, use of other paper so this was just a nice and simple and cute Valentine's Day card and you can make this card um, multiple times as you can see it didn't take us any time at all to put this card together he looks adorable with his little pink feathers underneath I'm going to grab some pop-up dots and throw those onto the back of him and this card is pretty much done peeps and we did that pretty quickly so you can mass produce these if you have like several uh, school teachers to give cards to. Maybe you don't want to use the smooches, but like Happy Valentine's Day, you can mass produce these pretty quickly. And in that ribbon pack, there's so many, many pretty ribbons in there. So you can actually change it up a little bit as well as it's just changing out your ribbon. All right, we're just going to put him kind of midway on the card. Push him down. And I love that cute little beak. Oh my God, he's so adorable. I'm going to add just a little bit of black um, pen to make his pupil stand out a little bit more. They kind of got lost when I put in the brown eyeballs. All right, and there we go. An adorable Smooches Valentine's Day card. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. And I will see you soon. Go forth and be crafty.